Hey everyone, I'm Julie Schiffman with julieschiffman.com and perhaps you've had an experience which was shocking for you. This could be recent or in the past. And if something has happened to you that you recognize that has been shocking for you when you've been um, thinking about it or you know that is sort of stuck there for you, then we're going to tap on this and set this energy free. When we feel shocked, it can create an imbalance in our body and also in our nervous system. And this can lead to all sorts of chaos in our body. It can lead to a dysregulated nervous system. It can, really, it can lead to ongoing anxiety, irritability, overreactions, and other imbalances. And whether you saw or maybe you heard, you experienced something that would caused you to feel shocked, or maybe this was secondhand shock, meaning that you heard something from someone else, or maybe you heard something on the news, um, and it was just secondhand information, but yet it still caused you to feel shocked then it can still wreak havoc in your body. So let's help you to release this energy now. What I want you to do first is just take a big deep breath in and release it. And when you're ready, we're gonna tap. Even though I feel shocked that this happened, I'm just shocked. And I can't seem to let it go. I love and accept myself. And I'm open to shifting this now. Even though I'm just in shock. I was not expecting that to happen. And when it did, I was shocked. It was shocking. And I'm ready and willing to heal my emotions, my nervous system, and my body. Even though I have shock stored in my body, and this may be showing up as anxiety or pain, fear or discomfort, irritability or stress or anything else. I am so ready to let this go so I can heal and move forward in a healthy way. It's time. I'm shocked. Maybe I saw something shocking I heard shocking news. I felt shocked. I experienced something shocking. I can't believe that happened. It was shocking in that moment. And when I think about it, I may still feel shocked. When I initially felt that shock, perhaps I held it in my breath. I froze and became paralyzed. Maybe I couldn't move. Or maybe I felt like my head was spinning. I was on autopilot. I went through all the motions and did what I needed to do. Maybe I helped who I needed to help. Maybe I ran if I needed to run. And maybe I don't even know how I did it. Or maybe I did nothing at all. Maybe I froze. Went into fight or flight. I may not even remember it. 
I went into survival mode. I was shocked. This shock in my body, this shock in my system, and whether I actually experience something or if this is secondhand shock, perhaps it has created an imbalance in my body. My nerves have been shaken. But I'm ready to come back into balance now. Even if I can't choose what happens to me or what happens in this world, I get to make a choice regarding how it affects me. And I am choosing balance, calm, and peace. And maybe there's a part of me that feels like I don't deserve to feel good after what happened, after what I saw or experienced. But what if I can let this go from my body now? Acknowledging how I feel and how this affected me. I am releasing all the anxiety and the fears. I'm releasing and letting go of all the panic. Letting go of the anger. I release and let go of the sadness and the grief. and all of the other feelings. But mostly I'm releasing the shock from my body. I release and let go of the shock from all the cells in my body. I release and let go of the shock from my muscles in my body. I'm letting go of the shock from my fascia and my ligaments. I'm letting go of the shock from my joints. I'm releasing the shock from my organs and my glands. Releasing shock from my lymphatic system. and releasing and letting go of shock from my vagus nerve. I am letting go of shock from the energy in my body. And I'm creating health and well-being in my body. Allowing all of my systems to reconnect I am now thriving instead of surviving. And my nervous system is communicating with all my other systems. Sending and receiving messages to all areas of my body. Restoring my health. Restoring my well-being. Restoring balance so I can feel calmer and more relaxed. Restoring the energy in my body. So I can finally heal from this. You can tap your wrists together and say peace. Good work. Take a big deep breath in. And let it out. 
And feel free to go back and tap as many times as you may need to. And feel free to change the words to suit your own specific, your own specific needs. This is how tapping will be most beneficial for you. And be sure to like this video if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe and get more of these videos as they come out more and more. I do them almost uh, at least once a month, if not weekly at times. And, um, and feel free to share if you know people who can benefit from this. And of course, everybody can benefit from tapping. I wish you peace and happiness. Keep tapping.